0809 away from dock. into Yusepa Yusepa West Anchorage. It's about 1.13 in the afternoon. We've been trying to get in before the storms hit. Each day the storms have been hitting between 3 and 4 p.m., 3 to 6 p.m., sometime around then we're getting thunderstorms. So we're planning our days so is that we make it in and secure before the thunder's done. Yusepa West Anchorage, a snack of some of that wonderful cheddar with sage cheese from the farmer's market. As we're getting a little bit of rain. breakfast at anchor. It don't get much better. Nine fifty nine anchor up and underway. The driver of this boat looked over and saw me videotaping. Do you really think he'd be going this slow had he not seen my video camera? Anchor down, 12.32, early in the day to avoid the storms again. And this is Chico Island, but it sure looks like just an open roadstead to us. All the way around is open, so it might be a bumpy night. Not an island, it looks like a Magoti. Yeah, it looks like a Magoti. Magote. This 
sucks. And it just looks like we're getting the swell from every which way. Yeah. Which is not what I call an anchorage. I think we're at the end. was dragging it. Yeah, I think we weren't all the way at the end yet. No, I think we were dragging it. Okay. Whatever. We're set down. Twelve forty seven anchor is definitely hooked in. Okay, this is funny, this could only happen in uh in a cruiser's life. We were walking down the street after getting tacos in uh, uh, Punta Gorda and a truck stopped by with uh, a couple people in it and they gave us a, a business card and they said it's for my father's table and bread of life missions uh, and they, uh, they asked for donations of clothing and stuff like that. We didn't have any but they said here have a free watermelon and forced us to have a free watermelon so this is this is to thank them and to say uh, if you're ever in the area and you got some donations donate to them they're kind people whoa is it juicy It appears to be juicy and How lovely. Look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Yep. And obviously I need a bigger knife, but uh, Well, you can't need it because this is all we have. <laughs> <laughs> Make do with what you got. Jill said this watermelon tastes great. The only thing that would make it taste better is if the water over the side was cleaner so that after we got done eating and slurping, we could just jump in and wash off. Unfortunately, the anchorage isn't that good. <clears throat> well, here we are at Chino Anchorage. Chino Island is right there. I think I misspoke and called it Chico yesterday, but it's uh, it's Chino, more like a roadstead. After we set the anchor yesterday, we looked around and we didn't like it a lot. And then we looked at the other two anchorages that uh, were our alternative and they didn't look any better than this. The uh, negative on this one is that it's uh, more of an open roadstead all the way around us. so. The wind has a lot of time to uh, to uh, kick up the water, and there's a lot of fetch. So we were probably going to have a bumpy night, which we did. Uh, the upside to this one was that the holding was very good, and that's probably the most important thing for us is that uh, we know our anchors dug in and holding well, and we're also the only boat in this anchorage, so. Someone else isn't going to drag down on us, and if we did drag, we weren't going to hit somebody else. So we wound up uh, collectively deciding we were going to stay here for the night. So it's morning. Uh, we'll be underway here shortly.